About a year ago, we introduced you to Midland's first four-legged crime fighter, Zayed. This month, we meet Brody, the newest addition to Midland Police Department's K-9 unit. Come here, boy. Oh, come on. Meet Officer Brody. Officer Brody and his handler, Midland Police Officer Greg Tate, are the latest addition to the police department's K-9 unit. While Officer Zayed, who joined the K-9 unit last fall, specializes in drug detection, Officer Brody has a different skill set. Well, he's an explosive strain dog. That's his primary focus. So he can find actually anywhere from an explosive device, an IED device. Um, he can also find weapons. If somebody runs out of a bank and throws a gun on the ground, he can find a gun because it has explosives inside of it, the gunpowder. Um, he's trained on gunpowder. He's trained on uh, military grade uh, explosives. Drug sniffing dogs and bomb sniffing dogs aren't cross trained to work in each other's disciplines, but they do have other skills in common. The explosives and the and narcotics are two different substances and different smells. So we try and stay with the explosives only with my dog. Similarly trained because you can also track, as Syed can do, and also can find uh, people in buildings like uh, Syed can do, and also protection of the, of the handler, of me. Uh, he can bite somebody on command um, if I tell him to. He also can locate a person in the building and bite him. Those are the same things we do. Only difference is explosive to the drugs. Brody is a two-year-old purebred German Shepherd who actually came from Germany through an Ohio trainer. He was acquired in June by the Midland Police Department thanks to a $65,000 Homeland Security grant and local support for Brody's ongoing maintenance and care. So I paid for his the buying the dog trained the dog uh, for three months, they bought the Tahoe, and also all the stuff that goes inside of it. Uh, the insert cost about $7,000 for the dog, it came from uh, Havis Corporation, the white bar, the computer, uh, the door pop system, uh, there's also a system called hot and pop, they'll actually turn the car on when it gets too hot and roll the windows down for them. We, we get funding from uh, Wysong Corporation, they give us free food and also nutritional advice on how to work the dogs and kind of food to give them. And also we get our vet care provided for us by the Midland Animal Clinic. Um, they've been great with helping us with uh, vaccinations and also seeing them when they have problems. Uh, Brody's dealing with an intestinal problem right now and she's, he's been in a couple times since then. So they really do help out. Officer Tate says that being a canine handler is a never ending job, but one he wouldn't trade for the world. Well, I've always wanted to be a canine handler. Always wanted to be one since I first started in the job 18 years ago now. And he goes home with me. He's with me 24-7, and he is always by my side. And he's a lot of work. He's like a young child. And it's ongoing. Training is ongoing with this dog. Um, and that's what keeps me really busy. And, and I love it. You know, my family, my, my daughter's involved in it, feeds the dog, walks the dog with me. And uh, he's, part of the, he's part of the pack. So he's part of my family now. Officer Brody was named by Officer Tate's family and sports the badge number 211, which is the inverse of Officer Tate's badge number 112.